most. Banana bread. It's a definite favourite as a snack, dessert or breakfast, but a lot of the banana breads we find at our local cafes are loaded with butter, sugar and surprisingly salt. Well, paediatric nutritionist Mandy Saka is here with us today and she's going to show us how to make her healthy banana bread, which tastes just as good without all the nasties and it's school friendly. Hi Mandy. Hi Carly. So I'm really excited to share this banana bread with you. It's really healthy, it can last in the fridge for up to five Five days, it can be frozen, perfect all rounder, and as you said, it's school friendly. Great, so how do we get started? So, first of all, you need to preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius. Well, we're going to take our bananas. Do you want to peel them? Then we're going to take six medjool dates. So, the reason why we use medjool dates is because they're soft. And then we take half a cup of coconut milk, but you can use almond milk, rice milk, and we're going to blend it all up together. So, you need to do it until you have a nice, smooth consistency. We need to crack the eggs. Three eggs in the bowl. Next, we're going to use half a cup of coconut oil. Coconut oil is super healthy for children. Antibacterial, antifungal, and it gives food a really sweet, sweet taste. So now we're going to blend that again. So this banana bread uses whole grain spelt flour. I like spelt flour as an alternative to wheat. It's really high in fiber. If you can't find spelt flour, you can use buckwheat, rice flour, as long as it's a whole grain because that's where you're going to get your nutrition from. So now we've got half a cup of coconut sugar. So coconut sugar is becoming more and more popular because it's got a very low glycemic index in comparison to table sugar. Now we're adding in one teaspoon of cinnamon and one teaspoon of vanilla powder. Love cinnamon because because cinnamon helps to regulate blood sugar levels. Perfect addition for children's food. These are chia seeds. So chia seeds are really rich in omega-3s. They are high in protein and calcium. A quarter teaspoon of Himalayan rock salt, one teaspoon of baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of baking soda. So once the batter is ready, we're going to grab a loaf tin, and we're going to oil it with coconut oil. Pour the batter into the loaf tin. So now we're ready to put in our preheated oven. I would check it after 35 minutes and do the knife prick test. Can it be frozen? Yes, it's really good. It can be frozen for up to six months and tastes delicious once it's thawed out. Okay, 45 minutes later and we've let it cool. Let's put it to the test. For more of Mandy's delicious recipes, head to her website, which is on screen now, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.